Did you know it's easy for your first RV trip to get derailed? Hi, I'm Jen Grover, and on this week's episode of Tap Talk, I'm going to share with you six things that you can check before you take your first trip to make sure that your first trip stays on the tracks. Stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a regular viewer, thanks for watching. If you haven't already done it, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out, and it also makes sure that you don't miss it when I post a new video. If you click the little bell next to subscribe, you'll get a notification when I post. You'll want to make sure that you stay tuned until the end because I'm going to talk a little bit about what you need to know about making sure that your tow vehicle is ready for pickup. There's nothing more frustrating than to get on a trip and find out something isn't working. You end up devoting your time and energy to fixing or problem solving. If you don't live close to a dealer or if you have to travel because the nearest tab is not close, there are some things that you can have set up by the owner or the dealer before you arrive to save you time when you actually check out your trailer or do a walkthrough. When I arranged to pick up my first tab, I asked the dealer to make sure that there were a few things turned on before I arrived so that I could check them. The first, and the first thing I recommend you check, is the Aldi or the furnace and hot water heater in your trailer. In a tab, it's going to be an Aldi, but your RV may have a different hot water heater and furnace. Ours are combined in the tab, so it's pretty simple to try them both. When you test the hot water, run the water for a few minutes, not just 30 seconds. That way you can tell that the water will stay hot. Sometimes, especially with the tab, you may need to adjust the mixing valve on the hot water heater. The next thing I recommend that you ask the dealer to turn on before you arrive and that you test is the fridge. If you have a three-way fridge, have them turn the fridge on to propane. If you have a 12-volt fridge, go ahead and have them turn it on, but it's okay if it's plugged in. The next thing you'll want to test is the air conditioner. If you're buying in the winter, it might be difficult to determine if the air conditioner is really working. So remember when you take your trailer out in the spring or summer to check the AC before you leave for the campground. And that leads me to the very next thing you should check, which is your battery. You want to make sure that it's fully charged and that you haven't left the battery switch on when it should have been off and that it's depleted your battery. If you want to learn more about making sure that you have enough battery capacity to support you while you're dry camping or boondocking, watch the video that I have linked up here. The next thing you'll want to test is something that you should test if you're going to be taking the camper out, boondocking, or dry camping, and that's your solar connection. You want to make sure that your solar panel is actually charging your battery before you get to the campground and need it to be working. I told you I'd mention about making sure that your tow vehicle is prepared to pick up your trailer, so let's do that right now. The first thing you'll want to make sure is that you have the correct hitch height for your trailer. You'll want to measure from the ground to the top of your ball and then find out what the distance is between the ground and the bottom of your coupler. For a standard Tab 320, it's 16 inches. For a boondock, it's 19 inches. If you have another trailer, you'll want to measure and get the information from the manufacturer or your dealer. Most factory tow packages include a charge line from the battery to the seven pin connector. If you don't know if your tow vehicle is wired for this, you can check it by either using a multimeter. You can also get a little tool that you plug into your seven pin connector that tests all the connections on that seven pin connector. I'll leave a link in the description below. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please be sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and stay tuned for next week's Tab Tip Tuesday and next week's regular Tab Talk. Thanks for watching.